What's going on guys? T Mart here and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Forza Horizon 2. Check it out. We bought ourselves a new vehicle here. It's not a new car. It's a truck, baby. The Ford Raptor. Yes, that's right. Let's continue on the road trip Remember what to Sisteron. Buying a new car will open up new events to you. Why not pick out a new ride for this next championship? This way you can get a feel for it while we're driving there. That's what I did. I bought the uh the truck here in the Horizon Off-Road. Let's go do this thing. Current car. Extreme Off-Road Championship. Hell yeah. These are your cars that are eligible for this championship. If you don't want to race one of these, you can buy a new car from the auto show and get used to the way it drives as we head up to Sisteron. I don't have that much money, girl. You're signed up for this championship in Sisteron. Get a feel for the car on the way there. Sweet. All right, so what I've found out is you actually, you can't buy credits with real money in this game. There's no option for it yet. I don't know if they're going to put it in, but that's, uh, that completely changes up the whole idea about this Let's Play. Because we aren't just going to be able to buy Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Aston Martins and all that stuff whenever right. we want. So we're going to have to be smarter about it. You up for something different? A little adventure? There's a scenic route up ahead. See if you can stick with me. Might get a little bumpy. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so, uh, anyway, what we're going to be doing is, uh, ooh, you can race Jeep Rubicons in this? <laughs> what we're going to be doing is, ooh, okay, I see you, bro. We're going to have to turn up the difficulty Guys, so we can start. New station to your radio presets. You should all have Ninja Tune radio available now. We can start what's it called? Getting like extra XP bonuses and extra credit bonuses at the end of each Each race. Alright, so here we go. Let's do this thing. Road trip into Sisteron. No comply 76, that's his name. Damn, that's a fast little fast little two-door SUV. That thing's insane. This is going to be so weird racing a truck, dude. This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this one. We're going to be going all off-road, baby. I actually like the interior view of this one, too. Turn left. You're up so much higher. You can see so much more of the road. You can see what's going on. Ford Raptor, baby. These things are absolute mammoth machines. go like 120 miles an hour through desert over crazy rough terrain rocks all that stuff their suspension their freaking shocks and stuff is absolutely incredible <laughs> look at optic D <laughs> optic diesel is in like a little old military military thing that was that was funny nice look at us Ooh, we just got daredevil somehow uh oh off road ouch ouch all right we're good landscaping Give us 1100 XP for that. That's what I like to see. Is this a Venino in front of us? It is. Holy shit. I'm racing with a Lamborghini Venino right now. What I really want to try out is that Lamborghini Urus. Have you guys seen that? They actually have it in this game. It's the new Lambo SUV. It's like a four-seater SUV. And it just sounds super interesting to me. Dude, this is insane out here. Uh-oh. I'm going to get over this dam. Okay, we're going up over this way. Woo! Ultimate wreckage. Turn around. 
around when it is safe to do so. I'm not turning around. I'm already. <gasps> oh man, I... is that a dog park? I thought we were going straight into that lake, dude. That was gonna be so bad. I think you get extra, extra XP and stuff for running stuff over. So there we go. Welcome to Sisteron. So it looks like this is a backcountry city. Not a lot of highways and freeways and roads. It's a lot of off-roading. So we picked the perfect truck for it, not even knowing it. All right, the Extreme Off-Road Championship. It's a little misleading because some of it will technically be on-road, but that doesn't make it any less awesome. Choose a race and let's start the championship. All right, let's start off over here. This looks pretty intense. Perimeter sprint. Here we go. Let's do this thing. We're going to have to... Ooh, leveled up. Spin for a prize. Let's see what we get. Come on, give me big money. We... Like, I, I really want to start buying, like, the super expensive cars and stuff. So, boom. That's the kind of stuff we need right there. Good stuff. We're also... Hey, mate, let's... A few guys just peeled off from our group. They heard a rumor that there's an abandoned classic to the east of Sisteron. Might be something you'd be interested in. Abandoned classic to the east. Ford RS 200, hmm. I don't know where that would be. Probably over by the aerodrome, I would guess. I don't know. We may have to look that up on, um, on Google or something. Ooh, Pagani Zonda C. Oh shit! You guys want to go do this one first? Ah, no. Let's let's stick with our races first. We'll do those first. Then we're. I think we'll we'll go around and do some of these kind of bucket list type things um, as we go along to get more money and stuff. But um, let's go to our. Where's our settings? Ooh, there's the Urus right there. You guys can see it. I had that VIP pack too, but I couldn't download it. It was weird. All right, difficulty. We're gonna have to turn Several this thing up. Several assists are turned on by default. You can earn higher payouts by disabling them, but this will make it harder to control your car. Okay. So, um... What do we want to do? With simulation damage on, your car may become too heavily damaged to drive. When this happens, you can fast travel to the Horizon Garage from the game map. Hmm. How about hard? Highly skilled. ABS on. We definitely want ABS on. Assisted steering will use it for us. Artificial intelligence to guide your steering when necessary. Normal steering gives you full control but dampens certain physical effects to make driving easier. 5% isn't really worth it there. Traction control. I want to keep that on. Stability control. We'll keep that off, I guess. Shifting, automatic, driving lane full, braking only. Cosmetic, simulation, rewind off. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we'll turn rewind off. Good stuff. There we go. So that's plus 55%. We're going to try that out right there, see how that goes. And if, uh, if we need to increase the difficulty even more, then we can. So, man, now... Even when we want to, rewind is off. There is no rewind option. Absolutely no rewind option. There's no messing up now, Trev. You see, like, you want to keep these multipliers up by running into stuff. Getting near misses. Ooh, that's not a near miss. Alright, extreme off-road, perimeter sprint. Let's do this thing. First race with the Raptor. Let's go. I wish we would have known about that because we, we've only used the rewind feature a couple of times. If we would have had that turned on, we would have been getting 15% more. All right. The next event is a trail race. Money. These are mixed surface point to point routes. The key to winning is maintaining your speed as the terrain changes. All right. Let's see what we can do, baby. I'm almost tempted to per turn simulation damage on as well. Because it's, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's tough.
I'm I, like it makes me think that we might be able to. Oh gosh, the difficulty's turned up now too. Gotta keep that in mind. Cause usually we don't run into too many people in this, but then some races we happen to run into a lot. So that's why simulation damage is, is a really questionable one for us. No rewinds, Trev. That's making me so nervous, knowing that that isn't in my back pocket just in case. Just in case I need it. There we go, good stuff. Into third place. Only 29% through the race. Dude, pretty much all of this is Ford Raptors. The only other thing there is the Ram. So I think we're going to be sticking with our Raptor for all four races of this championship. So we're going to have two episodes with the Raptor. Should be a good time. He's pretty damn good, too. Damn, this is going to be a long race. we still got quite a bit to go through. This is only 50%. We already got ourselves a pretty decent lead. Now we're just worrying about not beating ourselves. Not running into a staircase and getting stuck. Not spitting ourselves out. Not the best turn there, but we're still okay. Slow down. Don't let the wheel spin. Accelerate out of the apex. Boom, there you got it. That's the type of turn you need to be making. Dude, if we turn the, uh, the arrows on the ground to breaking only, I don't think we'd be able to do it. I think that'd be too hard. Because I would never know where the next turn is and stuff. I rely on this stuff to tell me where the turn is. I don't want to be looking at road signs for turns. There it is! Up the difficulty, still got ourselves a win. That's how, uh... That's how we do it. Let's see what kind of money we got. Ten thousand credits. Good stuff. Bunch of XP. Uh-oh, we got level eight. We're gonna be able to get another spin in. Here we go, give him a spin. Spin for a prize. Come on, give me something good. We might have to end up selling our cars too. I don't know if it lets you. Ooh, Ford Sierra Cosworth. Ooh, it's worth 52,000. Nice. Okay, I guess I'll take that. <laughs> That's pretty damn good, if you ask me. Next event here is a Citadel Cross Country. Let's actually, what do you guys say we do the Pagani Zon to see while we're, while we're going by it? Three of the exact same Ford Raptors going by each other. Yards, turn left. Where's it at? Ah! Here you are! The Horizon Bucket List. Let's do this thing. Dodge the midday traffic in a Pagani Zonda C. Okay. Wow. Show off near miss skills. Woo! At the roundabout, take the second exit. Woo! Oh gosh, shit. That's not a near miss, that's a hit. What the fudge, I can't, I can't get this thing going, there we go, okay. What, the, I literally, the torque is too high. Okay, here we go, dodging traffic. Woo. 
Nice. I don't think the hoops are needed, Trev. Boom. Boom. Wow. We're getting insane skill here. Holy shit, we are going way too fast. Slow down. This thing's... Oh my gosh, it's so fast. And it's the... the handling is so good. Alright, 15 out of 23 miles left. That didn't count, wasn't enough. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Ouch! Alright. We still need five more in 2.4 miles. We need to do that in 50 seconds. Damn it. We had such a bad start to this. Hopefully we can still make it happen. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. All right. Two more. This is it. Woo! Success. You earned 20 skills. What does that mean? Oh, 20, yeah, 20, 20 near misses. All right, good stuff. 11,000 credits for that, dude. That's as much as a race. We need to do more of these things. Those are fun. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to start doing more of those things. Little, like, mini challenges in between the episodes. Oh, my gosh. That's good stuff. Anytime we go by one of those, we're going to make sure we do it. All right, where's our next, uh, our next event? Right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't need my GPS for that. You have arrived. Go ahead and enter this event right here. There we go, good stuff. Let's keep it up. Try to get ourselves another win. Sisteron Extreme Off-Road, Cross Country. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Get ourselves another wind trap. Oh, this one's being raced inside the cockpit. I forgot. Oh, gosh. Rewinds are not available. I just, just remembered that. This is going to be uh, a little bit tougher, Trev. Make sure you hold it together and do as best as you possibly can. Come on, baby. Just don't hit the trees. Woo! Okay. You missed the checkpoint. No! Shit! I missed the checkpoint. So you actually like legitimately have to go all the way through the checkpoint to be able to get it. Oh man, I thought you just had to be close. All right, Can we restart this race? We'll be able to restart it at the end, I know, but can you restart it in the middle of it? We, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try to still get first place. Ah, it's not gonna be possible. Not with 33%, can we? Here we go, let's just, let's just try a restart. All right, we are gonna make a habit of this, but I didn't realize that that's how checkpoints, checkpoints work. So here we go. Let's do this thing. I'm trying to get as many many credits as possible because I want to be able to race sweet cars with you guys. So here we go. You gotta make sure you hit the checkpoints, Trev. I just thought you had to be in the general area. I didn't know you actually had to go in between the two smoke markers. I guess that makes sense, but I, just, I feel like I've had quite a few instances where I didn't go directly through them and it was okay. I don't know. We had a good idea to try to cut through the middle like we did. There it is. Nice work. Woo! Okay. I like this start much better. What do you guys say? <laughs> oh, 
Throw this down. Woo! We're good. Great clean racing. That's what I like to see. Heading to the next checkpoint. I wonder if we're ever actually going to have to like tune and upgrade our cars to stay competitive. Or if, if we buy a new new type of car every time, if we're always going to be alright in that regard. But sometimes I feel like these, these enemies have pretty quick cars and we can't really catch up to them. Ooh, this is beautiful. Shoot. Swung that one a little bit wide, Trev. Okay, come on. Come on. Seventy percent. Oh gosh. Woo! Back in the second place. Let's go. Let's get it first. Let's get it first. Seventy-seven percent done with the race. up here. Whoa! Slingshot at him. Oh gosh. No! Come on. Go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Ah! We did it! We did it! Oh my gosh, that was close. Wow! Nice driving, mate. Oh man, it took a restart, but that's okay. Good stuff. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll continue on with our Raptor. See if we can win this uh, this thing and keep making money. Let's do it, baby. Thanks for watching. Peace out.